Alright. I always knew that this water represented uh, a number in power. And uh, I always dreamed about a water wheel and getting electricity from it. I wanted to dedicate this. It ain't much to dedicate, but I wanted to dedicate it to a guy on YouTube called Muddy Man. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a little better, buddy, uh, um, when I get it finished. But uh, about everything here is just junk laying around. And uh, that's just a rigid steel pipe. It should be a steel mandrel, but for more stability. That, Big blue thing there, something out of a knitting mill. Water wheel, it ain't, it ain't much to look at, but that's the first one I ever built. Uh, I think I could do better on the next one. Angles really mean something when you're making a circle, because uh, <laughs> I had to do some rigging when I tried to close up my angle. But uh, a gentleman called Muddy Man posted a little thing on YouTube about a uh, ceiling fan they were able to do some modifications and convert it to a, an alternator and everything I've done there is jury rigging uh, right now I'm just running straight off the coils uh, I hadn't put the rectifier in yet I've got them up here but just hadn't put them in yet to convert it to DC to charge this bank of batteries which is sitting here doing nothing right now. But uh, there's two sets of coils, gonna tie those together, hopefully up to 48 volts and then get an inverter. But right now, this is uh, it's gonna be my control panel. And see that voltage there is just unregulated AC. It's uh, off those coils generating for that bulb there. Got a little old string of uh, LED blue lights around here just, just to see what it would do. And it doesn't slow it down hardly any at all as far as uh, load on, on that uh, ceiling fan. But I, if I'm looking at it right, I think I could put two or three ceiling fans right through here and have them, you know, put out more amps. I think he said there's about two amps uh, being generated there off, off of that one coil, I think, I ain't for sure, but, buddy, I'm working at it slowly but surely, I hope to get a, uh, a current controller up here, and a, uh, let's see, I need a 48 volt uh, inverter, right now I got a 12 volt, I just wanted to see, see what I could do with it, and it's just sitting there doing nothing right now, but, Muddy, it's dedicated to you, man. <laughs> it ain't much, but we're working on it. See ya. All right. Uh, it's a little bit windy today, and I'm you forgive me, but uh, it's going to be uh, phase two of the uh, ceiling fan alternator with the hydro application. Just uh, maybe take a little bit more time this time. Uh, to explain a little bit more but uh, this is uh, the pulley I had to set that pulley away from the water wheel a little bit it stayed so wet and was getting the alternator wet so I pulled it pulled it back away from the wheel a little bit don't look don't look so good but I had to do it to keep the water out of there and uh, this here is going to be Scott's Scott Brown's uh, little project of the uh, ceiling fan and right there's the uh, two sets of coils coming out and uh, I'd like to have that pulley ratio a little bit smaller but I just jury rigged there and uh, that's what I come up with I'm sure there's a better way I just hadn't got that far yet and uh, we got two inch rigid steel shaft here and uh, it's uh, sitting on a pillar block bearing all right and uh, here's the uh, a little battery bank 
they got put together. Uh, just trying to come up with a bus to tie those together. I just bought a couple of little pieces of copper pipe and flattened them out and drilled holes in it. It's not not the best in the world, but it'll do. Uh, this here is incoming from the charge controller. And uh, that end over there, I've got it tied going to the uh, uh, inverter, the 12 volt inverter. I guess with a little bit more load, you'd have to try to position those wires uh, more in the center of the load there to prevent any heating, any connection heating up or anything. But I hope to have this, uh, make this a 48 volt system when I get another inverter. All right, just the back side of it here. That's the uh, alternator there. And a couple of coils. I mean, that's the wire side of these coils coming out. And uh, I put a, put a little old disconnect in here to be able to open it up. That's the two coils coming in there. And that's tied into the bridge rectifiers to uh, convert that AC to DC. That's a neat little trick if you ever see the schematics on it. But uh, that's, that's neat how that works. The incoming, uh, incoming DC voltage into the uh, uh, Xantrex uh, load controller to keep from uh, overcharging the batteries. That's uh, 12, 24, and a 48 volt. Right now I got it set up for 12 volts with the intention of going to 48 layer 4 to make the uh, alternator a little bit more efficient. It actually slows this thing down tremendously when you, uh, I'm going to open these coils up and we'll see if we can tell uh, tell a difference in how, how it, uh, the load restricts that motor. I don't know if you can hear that but it really uh, it really picked up there. That's that's amazing how that magnetism slows down that that, ho that horsepower and that water wheel. And uh, there's nothing OSHA safe around here. Everything's uh, stapled or nailed or and uh, that's coming out of the coming out of the charge controller, going over into the back side of this battery. Coming out the front side into this uh, 12 volt inverter and got it on a timer here to just cut some, cut a few lights on out here around the uh, around the water wheel and stuff. Basically trying to get the principles down before I go any farther. But I hope to build my own PMA. Uh, for uh, a little bit higher output. Either that or put uh, three or four ceiling fans. Once you have that ratio right, you can just drop back through here and put two or three ceiling fans for, 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 more, for more capacity. I hope you're able to understand it. Just, uh, just a dreamer with no money and that's a bad combination but uh, thanks to Scott and uh, all the folks that kind of helped me figure this out we'll see you the next time all right uh, just another little addition on the on this uh, ceiling fan alternator uh, working off the water wheel or hydro application uh, got home for the weekend and uh, voltage is down on the batteries and I think that's because the belt was slipping readjusted the belt and uh, it should be bringing it back up right now I just got it on a 12 volt battery bank and uh, put in a little uh, amp gauge this morning to try to see what was going on right now it's running a pretty consistent half of an amp I know that I don't sound like much, and it's probably pretty, uh, pretty simple to a, a bunch of folks. But I was kind of impressed with it. I'm 
I'm pretty sure that when we get this on a 48 volt system, this will bump on up. I think I heard Scott say maybe about two amps out of one ceiling fan. I'm really not for sure, but we'll see. Uh, next little step to get a 48 volt uh, inverter. And uh, I started out this little project just to see if it would work and the principles behind it. Uh, before I, I know if you plan on taking any of this to the house uh, to, to run anything in your house I know the count your local county or government will require permits when I do have the basics down and all the principles right I'm gonna put all this in uh, approved wiring and junction boxes and things like that and try to I don't have a driven ground yet for protection this I mean if, if this case went to uh, if something was to go to ground, I mean, you could have some stray voltage here. So, uh, driven ground, I'm going to assume, would be a great protection if uh, if you did have stray voltage here. So, after my next project, going to 48 volts and uh, driven ground, and then an approved wiring. Uh, like I say, nothing around here is OSHA safe. <laughs> yep, we'll catch you next time. See you. Thank you, Scott, for all your help. That's been run from the, the low ceiling fan alternator. Let's see what kind of voltage we got. Been running for a while. It draws it down a little bit because the motor's not that efficient yet because of the battery bank. Oh, we got it pulled down pretty good. It's just 12.2 volts. So we need to get it up on that 48 volt bank.